Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In the previous videos, we created Flipbox as well as the pricing table using free and pro plugin. In this video, we are going to create call to action in Elementor. Call to action is one of the Elementor Pro widget that we are going to use in this video. Definitely, you can also create a similar kind of call to action without using Elementor Pro. However, in the Elementor Pro, you will get this feature built in, so you do not need to create it manually. So we have three different types of layout here. This one, in this layout, the image is at the top. In the second layout, we have image on the left side. And in the third layout, we have image on the right side. And you can also fully customize this call to action using Elementor Pro. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. Now we are going to use the call to action widget of Elementor Pro. So let me add a new section here. So this is the new section. Let's click on plus sign go to Elementor Pro and here you will see the option call to action or you can search for call to action now click on it drag and drop it here so this is the basic layout here you can add image this is the title description and a button so let's see if we are going to add an image here I already have some our images so I'm going to use one of them so let's select this one all right so this is the image and here you will see two different types of skin for the image cover or classic i'm going to use classic here the skin type cover will cover the entire section so i'm going to use classic okay now the position of the image so right now it is at the top this one is selected above so this is left and this is to the right we are going to create three different types of call to action using the position of the image okay so this is the image that we have used now content so this is the heading let's change the heading here Right, let's add some description so this is the short description here you will see the click here button so I'm going to change the text on the button and here is the option to insert the link if you want to link this button with internal page you can paste the link here I'm going to use telephone number the dummy telephone number so this is how you can add a telephone number also so we have got the title description and button now let's see here we can see a ribbon we can add ribbon also so here you will see the ribbon text you can change the position also right now let's go to style section this is the box total height of the box you can change the height of the box from here so this is the box let's change it to 200 the alignment of the text you can see left center or to the right so I'm going to set it to center vertical position top bottom or middle so let's set it to middle if you want to add padding you can also add padding image height so this is the height for the image you can change the image height so let's set it to 200 I will say 300 so this one looks good now let's go to content so this is the content style section typography this is typography for the title description colors now this is for the background color so we are going to change the background color so we are going to use this one as a background color All right now let's say change the title color also description color and the button color you can also change the button color from here so I'm going to use this one we do have separate style setting for buttons so I'm going to use that one also so this is for the title typography you can change the text font size or font type so I'm going to use let's say 35 and for the description we are going to use let's say 25 22 so here you can change the spacing between the title and typography and button let's go to button setting now here you will see the settings for the button we are going to change it to medium 
will see the size here medium typography now the background color from here you can change the background color for the button and now the text color on the button let's use white okay and here you will see border color all right so the button looks good the border width and border radius can also be changed from here now this is for the ribbon this is the ribbon we are going to change the ribbon color so let's say this one all right this one looks good and you can also change the text color distance all right now box share and these are the small other settings that you can change now let's go to hover effect zoom in or zoom out here you will see zoom in you can change to zoom out and also move left so these are the different hover effects if i say to move up you will see it is moving up or you can change it to move down so let's change it back to zoom in this one looks good overlay color if you want to change the overlay color you can change the overlay color and let's change the opacity so we have added a black color let's change it to something red or let's use some green yellow you can change the opacity CSS filter option is also there. You can change the blur or brightness, contrast, blend mode. All right, so these are the basic settings. You, you can also add border to the entire box. All right, now let's see how does this look. This is a kind of call to action. In this example, we have the image at the top. So we're going to use another one with the image on the left side. So let's see, we are going to add a new section here. Now let's copy this one. Right click here and select copy. Now let's go to this section and right click and paste. All right, now here you can change the position of the image to the left. All right, let's change the style, the content background colors so, we, so that we can differentiate Right now let's add one more section here and in this we are going to paste again right click and paste it and let's use the content on the right let's change the background color all right so we have three different layouts here let me update this one let's go to view page so here we have got three different layouts in the first layout we have got the image at the top in the second layout we have got the image at the left and in the third layout we have image in the right side so this is how you can create call to action in elementor pro so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video Thanks for watching Quick Tips.